little bit of attitude on the court. You know, that's just how I am. I'm a little rough around the edges. That's how I play, too. You could say I'm a game changer. Dunking with a lot of force. Like I said, the attitude, kind of gritty. That's what she does better than anyone else. Just bringing something somebody else couldn't do. I'm Brittany Griner. I play for the Phoenix Mercury. And this is my ink. Went to Baylor University, Baylor Bears, and Waco. A couple of things were probably frowned upon, you know, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the way I probably went to class, honestly, uh, like this, or shirts cut off, tattoos. I started getting more tattoos in college. Yeah, and I mean, I'm openly gay, so that was also a little twist to it. Yeah, I got picked on for just being different, being bigger. Not the, you know, that typical, you know, this is a girl and this is how a girl acts. She doesn't, you know, want to do all the crazy stuff. And that was me. Everybody thinks I'm just happy-go-lucky and smiling all the time, but they don't see me behind closed doors. They don't see me at night. It's not always smiles and giggles. Sometimes it's tears and sadness. I have a, a double female symbol. Uh, sign on my hip over here. I uh, wanted to get branded, honestly, but I wasn't really about that life, uh, getting my flesh burned, so I cheated. I just had the tattoo look like, uh, like I was branded, and so I got that. I call it my lesbian tattoo. I was always out. I mean, people knew, but I didn't come out to like my parents till the ninth grade. My family was cool with it, though. I mean, my mom, she was like, OK, that's cool. I still love you. I was like, well, thanks, mom. That was the best combo ever. And I came out to the league, and it was all smooth. It was smooth selling. Today's the day. I get to finally finish my sleeve. I love nature. I'm a big country girl. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna do a whole tribute to like what I love on my left arm. If you like, you can take a seat. Cool. I kind of just found a shop in Waco one day and I went in and met Keegan. He did the top part of my arm. I loved it. Went back and did the rest of this. He captured everything that I wanted. I get nothing but compliments on my arm. Towards the end, I was dying, no, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shit. I, I thugged it, I didn't care. Whatever I had to do to get my tat, like, I was gonna do it. I was there all day, from morning till night. And I mean, shoot, when you want a tattoo, you'll, you'll stay there all day. How you feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. I think that's it for the day. Oh, hell yeah. Looks good. You're the man, Keegan. Society gives us a bad rep for having tats or being gay. So I'm like, well, let me just throw it all together in one and see how you like it now. Like, I mean, that's how I feel. I'm definitely comfortable in my own skin. <laughs> I'm definitely comfortable in doing whatever comes into this crazy head. I'm comfortable doing it. I want to be different. Everybody has on white, I'm finna have on like red, you know? Everybody's wearing red, I'm finna put on something else like crazy, you know? Like I wanna stand out, I wanna be different. It's my life, it's my skin, it's my ink. There's a lot of uh, similarities with professional fighting and getting the tattoo. You know that it's going to hurt. It's not going to feel good, but the end result is definitely worth it.